top of the morning to you. Beautiful morning here in deep south Texas. Crazy night last night. It was quite a spectacular uh, show in the skies last night. All in all, it didn't get too bad. Um, I just I wanted to address this real quick because uh, I guess maybe some people might have taken it the wrong way. Uh, this is in reference to one of the last videos I posted talking about a uh, case of Bud Light at the receiving end of that there shotgun. <laughs> hey, listen, man, I, I didn't mean any... I meant no ill will. I didn't mean any malintentions. No malicious intent whatsoever, man. Whatso fucking ever. I, um... I, I am a true advocate, true believer in, um, uh, in life, liberty, life, and the pursuit of happiness, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Got them jumbled up there, <laughs> but essentially, man, Hey, you know, I, I truly believe that everyone should live the way they want to live. That's it. Everyone should live the way they want to live. No one should get a say so in what, you know, in what and in, in, in anything concerning your life. And that's it. That's the bottom. That's the bottom fucking line. That's for everybody, man. Um, but it's the constant force feeding of of uh, of these ideals, the constant um, shoving in our faces you know the, these 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 ideals that are that are just everyone's just uh conforming to to this 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 craziness this madness man you know and it's i think you know i think i think it's wrong i think it's dumb i think you know you shouldn't try to indoctrinate people into thinking a certain way you know what I mean like you know that's just that's my stance on it that's that's my stance on it and uh you know hey live and let live man you know if, if you know if uh, I'm not gonna bother you you don't bother me that kind of thing man it's like anyway I'm, I'm just I'm just saying man I I meant no I meant no uh no malice, you know, no malice with what I said. And, um, um, I guess in essence, what I was trying to say was I was, I was advocating for the destruction of, um, the destruction of, uh, indoctrination or the destruction of, 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 of propaganda, the, the, the destruction of force, forcing something on somebody forcing ideals on other people and look man it goes it goes both ways I, i'm a christian man i'm a christian man and uh i i had i was just privy to uh something recently about uh these public schools in texas they're trying to pass this they're trying to pass this uh i don't know i guess it's a law i'm, I'm not too sure they're trying to pass this thing where the ten commandments will be posted for all to see for all the public to see in all public schools. Does it bother me? No, it doesn't bother me. I mean, I'm a Christian man. Those are ideals and, 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 and rules to, to live by or that we should live by. I mean, I'm no, I'm no saint. But, um, but I immediately thought, you know, I immediately thought, you know, how, how is that going to, how is that going to make other people feel, uh, you know, other walks of life, uh, how is it going to make a Jewish kid feel? How is it going to make uh, an Islamic kid feel? You know, the, the, these the, these kids, you know, in fear of... I guess I'm opposed to it because, you know, in, in fear of alienating these kids. You know? A alienating a, a, a percentage of the populace. That's that's where I come from, man. And, and again... I'm a Christian dude, but I, you know, I, I am all for 
you know, live and let live, dude. Don't, you know, why, why try to force, force anything upon anyone? But I don't know. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a complete, maybe it's a rebuttal from the state saying, hey, well, you know, I mean, there's, there's this, uh, there's this growing number of, uh, of satanic, uh, after school programs, I guess that are opening up. I, I don't know. <laughs> so maybe it's, it's their rebuttal, you know, like, you know, you guys are going to do this. We're going to do this. Yeah. I just, I don't know, man. It's just weird to me. I just, uh, I'm, I'm just, I just want people to live their lives and, and, you know, I'm going to live my life and I won't force feed anything on you. You live your life and don't force feed anything on me. You know what I mean? That's, that's my, that's my thing. So anyway, just wanted to address that. And other news, uh, this, uh, title 42 is coming to an end and I live on the border. If anybody, if you know, if you all don't know that, McAllen, Texas. So, I mean, not not directly on the border, but I'm pretty goddamn close. And we shall see what happens once the uh, once this you know once this gate is lifted, once this Title Forty Two ends. It's crazy, man, because, you know, it's supposed to regulate, you know, I guess it was a COVID era thing where, um, you know, they weren't allowing people to come in through the border because of COVID uh, now coming to an end. But there was still people pouring in, you know, people from, you know, Mexico, Venezuela. Uh, I mean, everywhere. I'll, I'll, I'm just I'm not just talking about Mexico, you know. Um, people were still pouring in, you know. But with this uh, this this week, they're estimating. I think we have about a, I don't even know, a thousand to fifteen hundred people coming in on a daily basis. After this this Title Forty Two ends this Thursday, I believe, they're estimating ten thousand, approximately ten thousand people a day coming through our borders. I was listening to the news this morning, dropping off my boys, and my seven-year-old goes, "Daddy, do we not, do we not like, uh, do we not like people, immigrants?" And I said, "I said, what are you talking about, man?" I said, "Look, we we are a nation of immigrants. I mean, we come, my my family. I mean, it hits it it's, it hits close to home. My grandma, from my dad's side, the woman who raised me." You know, she, she came, she came from Mexico. She, she crossed the border back in the, uh, I don't know, the early fifties, something like that. Late forties, early fifties. I'm not sure her and her family, my great grandmother brought them over, but they did it the right way, man. They waited their turn. They did it the right way. They were, you know, they were able to get vetted. And, you know, because you want to know who's coming into Who's coming into the country, man? We have to regulate that, right? I mean, so I was telling my, I told my son, I'm like, look, imagine if we, imagine having a, a little a get together. Imagine opening your home to everybody, right? We, we open our home to anybody, everybody, all walks of life. You know, we were taught to love one another. So I told him, hey, imagine inviting everyone and, I mean, your guests, would you want your guests to be coming into the front door? You greeting each and every one of these guests? Or would you want them coming in through your bedroom window? You know, some, some through the front door, some through the bedroom window, some through the, you know, the, 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 the living room windows, back door, through the garage... You know, I was like, I mean, wouldn't you, wouldn't you, and then he, you know, I guess he kind of understood, and he's like, well, yeah, I want, I want, I would like for people to come in through the front door, and I said, well, that's, that's what I'm saying, man, it's like, you just want to make sure, you want to keep account of, of anybody who's coming in, you, you want to be aware of anybody coming in, 
Because you never know. One of those people might be a bad apple. Might might do something, man. Might do something. You know, and, and I, I truly believe, I truly believe that a majority of these people coming through just want a better life, man. I'm more than certain. They, they want a better life. And what greater opportunity than the U.S. of A. But there are going to be these people, the small percentage that are going to slip through the cracks, man. And they're going to wreak more havoc on our streets. You know, and we've already seen, we've already been seeing uh, a number of, uh, I mean, there's been a lot of violence just recently here in my home state of Texas. A couple weeks ago, this psychotic, this lunatic north of Houston executed, murdered an entire family. I mean, I don't know if it was an entire family, but I knew that there were several victims and two of the victims were a young mom and a, and a, and a little and a child. I'm not sure if it's a boy or a girl and a child. I mean, and that that is just fucking unacceptable, man, you know? And he was a, a Mexican national and he had broken the law several times. So that frustrates me. And I, I, I fear, I fear that that kind of activity is going to grow exponentially. You know, people are getting desperate in these times, man. And, and, and desperate times come, uh, you know, there's, there's uh, desperate times come with desperate measures, especially for these, these, these people that are not all there, man. These bad apples. But again, I digress. I know that more of these people, I'm, I'm, a majority, a vast majority of these people are, are good people, good, hardworking people. And I mean, I can only speak, uh, I can only speak really of, of, of Mexicans because, you know, I'm Mexican, American. But, uh, my, I mean, my grandma, man, they, she, you know, there is no, her work ethic comes second to none, dude. Okay, our work ethic, you know, us Mexicans are hard motherfucking workers, man. I dare, I dare any of y'all to... to to outwork a Mexican, man. You can't. You won't. Hard workers. I don't know. I guess we'll see, man. We'll see. I'll keep in touch here. And, uh, I mean, I don't know, man. I just saw a recent, uh, a recent video clip of El Paso, Texas. I mean, they're on the border, but they're about, I don't even know, man, 12, 14 hours west northwest of where i live on on the border that way i'm on the border down here south so i saw this clip and uh it, it didn't even look I, mean, I don't know man i mean tents it was like a tent city man tent city just people on the streets everywhere man it just it didn't even, it didn't even look like an american town I mean, it looked like third world country shit, man. It was weird. <laughs> anyway, that um, I'm just that, that's what I'm not. I'm, I'm just hoping it doesn't get like that here in my in my town of McAllen, Texas. I don't know, man. Crazy fucking times we're living in. Jesus. Anyway, I just wanted to make this. You know, I wanted to say this, that I love everybody. I have no quarrel. I have no problem with anyone. And I, I, I was taught to love all people, all walks of life. I am not one to judge. Only the Almighty can do that. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a good day. And God bless you all. And 
be well, be safe, and treat everyone with respect and treat everyone with love and kindness, man. We need that right, right now, today. Much love. God bless.